So good morning all of you. So in today's lecture we will look at the fourth C which is the check and this C happens to be in the middle of the seven C's. So it's one of the most important aspect of innovation by design. The direction in which the project has to progress, the direction in which the ideas have to progress, the direction in which the marketing, management, the manufacturing has to go has to be very clear very early in the project. So to make this happen, there are a lot of thinking tools which come in, in handy. So we'll show you through this case study of redesign of a palki for Vaishnu Devi Shrine. How we went about checking out what type of you know, mock-ups we need to do, what type of prototypes we need to do. How do you engage with the users to understand what the aspects of the users are. The first C was talking about social sciences. The second C, which is the context, also looked at sociology and design in an interesting way. The third C also dwelt upon sociology, sciences and to some extent engineering. The fourth C actually is strategy. You have to be very clear what you're doing. So this also is a collaborative discipline. None of the aspects in innovation are individual discipline oriented. So every aspect of innovation is multidisciplinary. That is a very important uh, thing we need to realize. Here, we also look at the design-driven innovation. We are talking about design in a very big way because design embodies uh, a number of disciplines in itself. You become an ethnographer when you are doing your user study. You become an engineer when you are doing uh, you know, your prototype development. To come up with design inventions and, uh, and innovations. So if you again look at the you know values of death for innovation, you see out of every one or two products which become innovative, you have hundreds and hundreds of products or services which are dead. And those are those values of death where they're you know lying. These are important lessons which we learned while we went through these processes. That's the reason I'm trying to show you. So in this case, what's in, what's very critical here is we number of times in the Palki project we came till the pilot production. Then user testing failed, we came back again to the square one, into the design and mock-up and prototype phase. So that journey, I'll show how, how that's happened. So there's a nice history to this whole Palki project. All of you know what Palki is, right? There's this people who carry, people who are you know handicapped or elderly. And uh, then one of our students uh, went to Ajanta Caves. And he came back and told me, you know, sir, I want to work on a Palki for Ajanta. I said, that's a good project. So we sponsored the project, then we did the design. We, we studied the Palki. Porters are very, very uh, ingenious and they are very hardworking. They come up with very innovative ideas. They use an existing chair and they actually tie logs to it and they use it as a Palki. Nobody gave them any uh, idea of what you know they can do innovatively, whether they can use different materials. Nobody told them all that, but they do whatever they can do best in local context and that's called grassroot innovation. So we studied all that and we came back and said, what happens if we use you know uh, thinner materials, stainless steel pipes, which are very strong, which are very lightweight and we design this palki and give it to them. Because porters have to buy or manufacture their own palkis because they're expensive for them. So that's where we said we need to work for the porters and see to it that we make the government provide them the good palanquins. Then you can control the price of how much they should charge. They were very, very happy. The porters wanted it. It had complete stainless steel pipes. So it was very lightweight. 